so hi hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to create a topographic profiles with rgis a step-by-step -step guide so let's get started so now to create a topographic uh, profiles we need a srtm dem of 30 meter resolution that is available in uh, official website of usgs so link will be in, uh, given in the description to how to download the srtm dem from usgs website so now we have two different layers in our table of contents. One is our study area and second one is our DEM profile data. So that is our SRTM DEM data. So now go to the option called customize and in that select this option called extensions. And once you did that, a new window pops up saying extension and in that make sure that you select this extension called 3D analyst. So make sure that you select this extension called 3D analyst. So once you did that, close it. So once you did that, go to the empty space and uh, right click. In that, we're going to select uh, two different tools. So one is our 3D analysis tool. So I have already selected our 3D analysis tool. And next tool you need to select is our draw tool. So make sure that you select these two tools called draw and 3D analysis tool. And then make sure that it ticks your tick mark is on. So once you did that, so now we can uh, able to visualize here. This is our 3D analysis tool and this is our draw tool so after that we're gonna move on to our dim layer so this is our dim layer in that we're gonna right click and uh, select this option called uh, properties and in that we're gonna select this option called symbology so here we're gonna choose a, a color ramp for our dim data so now let me select this particular color ramp for our dim so now uh, click ok so now once you did that, you can able to observe the elevation uh, profiles here, the elevation details here. So here the highest level of elevation is marked in this particular color that is white color and the lowest level of elevation is marked in this uh, in this color. So the highest elevation is being observed in this part of the region towards the towards the southeast part of this re area has the highest level of elevation compared to the northern areas. So you can able to visualize it. So based on uh, elevation value starting from 1109 is the highest level of elevation value and 389 is our lowest level of elevation. So next and now let us zoom to this part of the uh, location. So let me zoom to this part of the study region. So now let me use my zoom tool. So basically you are going to use this particular tool. So once you did that you can able to visualize here. So one is uh, it is of uh, elevated areas in the uh, two sides of this uh, here is indicated and between that we have our uh, less elevated area that is this is a valley and this is a hilly areas this is a hilly area and this is a valley so i have zoomed using this particular tool called uh, zoom in so now let me zoom out a little bit So once you did that, we're going to draw a cross-sectional profile. For that, we're going to move on to this particular tool called uh, So now we're going to select from this 3D analyst tool. So we have to click this option called the toolbar, toolbar options. Select this particular option called toolbar options. We're going to click this down arrow button. So now in that, we're going to select this particular option called interpolate line. So it, create, it creates a 3D line by interpolating the heights from the selected functional surface. So make sure that you click this option called interpolate lines. So once you did that, the it appears to be like a plus like symbol. So now we're going to draw this particular line, the interpolate line over this uh, hilly and hilly areas as well as this valley areas. So that is on uh, elevated areas as well as in the low elevated areas. So now let me draw this. So we're going to draw a line over this particular elevated areas. And, the, and now I'm going to draw the line over this valley areas that is low elevated areas and after that we're going to again move on to over elevated areas so once you did that and now uh, let me show you how to extract the cross-sectional profile data from this particular line so once you have completed your drawing your profiles over this particular elevated and low elevated areas make sure that you double click to complete this line so after that we're gonna move on to our 3d analysis tool again and that we're gonna click this option called the toolbar options in that 
we're gonna class select this so once you did that we're gonna select this particular line that is we have draw, drawn drawn a cross-sectional uh, we've drawn over interpolate line over this elevated and low elevated areas after that we're gonna move on to this particular option that is uh, in 3d analyst tool we're gonna select this option called toolbar options so in that we're gonna select this uh, option called profile graphs so now i clicked it so now we can be able to visualize the and now we can uh, clearly able to view the profile details of this particular area so we have drawn a line over this particular elevated to a low elevated and then high elevated areas so here you can visualize the elevation uh, in uh, meters so you can uh, visualize the elevation here so the elevation starting from this point it is uh, to be a lowest and gets uh, a bit of high, a bit high and after that when reaching to towards the valley areas the elevation drops around to 600 and again uh, crossing this elevator uh, valley region again moving to moving towards the elevated areas the elevation gets started increasing so you can view the elevation here it is an 850 here in the elevated areas and similarly the valley here is represented to be around 600 meters so uh, let me draw another uh, a cross-sectional profile so uh, let me select this another area So let me place this graph over this particular point and next we're going to draw this uh, ele elevation over this particular area so for that we're going to select a similar procedure so click this option called toolbar and that we're going to select this particular uh, interpolate line so in that we're going to draw a profile over this part of the radius we're going to place we're going to draw a line over this particular area here so once you did that you make sure that you double click to finish this particular line and make sure that you select this line you can select a use by using this uh, arrow select elements you can just select like this by clicking on it so once you did that again move on to this option and click this option called profile graphs so now we can able to visualize here the profile details here so it is the highest elevated areas so starting from there we are started from elevated areas and move on to over a less elevated areas and again we are moving towards uh, elevated areas so you can clearly able to view that in the graphs so we started in the low and high and again towards the low and high so you can view the profile details here so now uh, once you uh, did that so suppose you want to edit this uh, particular uh, profile so the graphs so for that we're gonna uh, click this particular right click and we're gonna select this option called properties in that there are uh, many options being available to uh, edit this graph so uh, for that so for example you can change the color of our appearance of this particular line we set, let's select the red color to it and I click apply so you can change the color of this uh, profile of this line so after that we can also add a legends and uh, yeah you can uh, do that and suppose if you want to make some changes to the appearance you can click this option called appearance so in that so in appearance section we have our titles and uh, we have title and footer so you can make some changes to the title just by for example we have performing a cross section uh, profile so let me add a title as a cross section profile so in the footer you can give some uh, details about this uh, graph or the number of graphs so uh, in that we're going to type as well so in that i have typed as in footer profile a so once you did that you can click this option called apply so uh, the profile here the title changes here so once you did that in access properties you can also add the the access uh, details here so for example this is the elevation so now let me add uh, elevation in, uh, elevation as a title here the access name as elevation so for that we're going to select this option called left axis so we're going to enter the title as elevation elevation in meters so once you enter that as an access property left as an elevation in meters you can click uh, apply and you can visualize the detail here and uh, let me click OK so after that suppose you want to export this particular graph to, to your uh, for your work in that case you're gonna right click this particular area and click this option called export so in that you can select the desired uh, format of your choice uh, for the now I'm gonna select as a uh, JPEG so we can choose your quality so we can increase the DPI as the DPI is higher the quality will be higher so I'm going to select the DPI to be around uh, maybe 30. So once you did that, uh, we can, uh, there is an option called size. Yeah. 
so you can select the DPI we can just uh, click this option called uh, save so once you did that you can so I'm gonna save to this particular location called image so in that you're gonna select as a cross-section profile and the profile name will be a so I have mentioned as a profile as a so once you did that you're gonna save this so uh, I just saved so after that let me close this and save this and let me show you that image so now I have navigated to my folder location so this is our image and I'm gonna open this so now I can able to visualize here this is a cross-section profile so let me close this so in this video I have shown you how to create a topographic profile using RGIS a step-by-step -step guide and thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like